Welcome to the Emirates Team New Zealand base. It's a pretty unique opportunity we have here today. Normally cameras aren't allowed inside these bases at all, but we thought today is a perfect opportunity to show everyone the AC40, the one design boat that's been raced for the Youth and Women's Cup, all the World Series events, and all the teams have got one of these as well. So we really don't have anything to hide, so come and have a look at the boat. So this is the AC40 on the deck. Big traveller here at the back. We've got the whole control system sitting on the deck for the mainsail. Taking another step forward into the boat and you see the, the cockpit here, you've got two seats. And interestingly on this boat, the drivers or the skippers or the helmsmen or whatever you want to call them, sit in the front. Normally they'd be sitting right at the very back of the boat, but it's a pretty unique situation here where you can sit in your specifically built go-kart seat effectively. You feel very secure in the boat. You don't get thrown around. Steering wheel's right in front of you and you've got an unobstructed view out the front of the boat. Two stations for phones here. This side here is all about like the performance, you know, how fast the boat's going, all your settings. And over here, you'll have all the information about the race course. It'll tell you where you are on the race course, how long to the start, how long to the boundary. And I'm hoping we'll get to a point where they'll start displaying the other boat on there too. So you can really get a good idea of where you are because it, you can't see through any of these sails. So you have no idea where your competition is. So a little indicator on your, your race software will be a, a big gain for that. In terms of button and switches, we'll start on the outboard side first. So you've got a board up button, and a board down button. So you can effectively be driving and you can push the buttons while you're driving. The trim plus, trim minus buttons, that's all to do with the autopilot system. So you can set all the settings and the boat will sail itself in terms of its flight. In our test boat, we have the ability to use the autopilot and manually, and I can guarantee you 100%, the one design boat is significantly easier to sail. But having said that, we still have to put inputs into the boat. So we still have to decide what is the sink target, how much ride height do we have, what is the trim of the boat, and where do we put the cans. It might sound like it sails itself because it's got an autopilot, but there's still a lot of human inputs that need to happen to make the boat work. On the other side here is all to do with the foil. So that's to do with the foil cant systems. So you can cant the board out, which means it gets further away from the boat, which will allow you to get more riding moment, or you can cant it underneath to reduce the riding moment. When you're driving the boat, you'll be monitoring some of these things, but normally it's the person who's sitting on the leeward side who isn't driving who can actually be monitoring the whole autopilot systems. Yeah, that's fast. It'll let you straighten up the easier, right? Good, Pete. You can effectively be driving here two hands, wherever you want, knowing that the person on the leeward side, in my case, would be Pete, will be just making sure the whole autopilot system's running perfectly. And if you ever push a wrong button, you can easily just hit the cancel button here and that just freezes the boat and you can redo your command. So we'll jump into the back seat and have a look at the trimmer station. You can trim the mainsail or the jib from the same panel. With the push of a button, you can switch to being on a jib control. You push the button again, you're back on main control. You can adjust the mast rotation. These masts rotate around to adjust the, the power and the camber and the sails. You have the clue adjuster, which is what controls the foot. So like an outhaul, so you, you pump it forward. It drags the depth out of the sail. You pump it to the back, it can, creates more power. There's a lot of coordination that needs to happen between the sail trimmers back here, making sure that they're not both trying to trim the same thing because the, the commands will you know, override each other. So a lot of their comms are my main or my jib and that's when they switch back and forward. And every manoeuvre, just like driving at the front, they switch between sides because it's so much easier when you're sitting up here on the windward side to trim the main sail. And if you're on the leeward side, you have the perfect view of the jib. So the final thing, and probably the most important thing to look at on this boat, is what we call the ultrasonic. It's what senses how the boat's flying. It's the smallest little thing on the boat, but probably one of the most important things. It's shooting a beam down at the water, and it's sensing how far the boat is off the water. And that is key for making the autopilot system work. I can guarantee you this is not as straightforward as it sounds. There's a lot of science that goes into making it work, and that's what makes the AC40 fly. 
as you can probably see right now, this boat's getting packed up as we speak. So, hope you enjoy the tour and uh, we'll see you up there.